Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Let me introduce to you Mr. Kurt Morrison, the police chief of Worcester, Oklahoma, a small town located in the southeast part of the state, population around a thousand, maybe 1,100 people, something like that. But this is a lifelong law enforcement officer. He's 45 years old. Um, at the time of this arrest. But he had been a police officer in uh, Panama, Oklahoma, Poto, Oklahoma. He'd been around a while. And this day, and I'm sure it wasn't the first, he was extremely intoxicated. And apparently they were, I don't know, uh, they talked about a cabin, so maybe they were at a lake or something, maybe a little holiday weekend or something like that. But to make matters worse, not only was this guy three sheets to the wind, his 10-year-old daughter was in the back seat. And he started bouncing off guardrails, left the road and hit a tree. And uh, as you'll see on his face, uh, different angles, you can see he's scraped up on his forehead pretty good. And, you know, got a couple, looks like bruises, maybe. Wonder if he was wearing a seatbelt, right? So, this POS, and believe me, he is one big POS. Blatantly lies to the state trooper just outright tries to uh, make better of the situation but I mean deep down he knows he's he's done he, this, this was it makes excuses about a divorce or some stuff and at first he tried to tell the officers he didn't start drinking until after the crash but there were witnesses that uh, Confirmed otherwise. Uh, there was never a bottle pound on the scene. and uh, just, just didn't make sense. <laughs> he's, this guy's police chief. and he's, uh, Just unreal. Unreal. Accountability, man. Accountability. So we're going to watch a little bit of this. The, the entire video takes place in the, um, the, the uh, front seat of the state trooper's patrol car. So, well, uh, I'll skip around some of the dead spots. They do uh, turn the mic off or they redact some stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's personal information or what have you. But, all right, let's get started on this and just look how messed up this guy is. So what happened, man? We are literally camping on Quarry Island. Uh-huh. We woke up. We had to come here and get something. Uh -huh. We're just driving across the dam. And then all of a sudden, like, everybody's flying through here, like, we can, like... Uh-huh. And so I just... Just go off the road. Because okay. of the... Because of everybody... Like, just... Traffic's flying at me. Yeah, yeah. I got you, bro. Not trying to cut... I, I should have cut it harder. Sorry, my computer's good. I was not drinking. 166 County, I'm back today. When I hit that tree, uh -huh. I, I started drinking. Oh, okay. Why Why's that? Because of the <laughs> No, no, I'm just you asking lie. questions. No, man. no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, as a brother, I'm saying, okay. hey, dude, I, I was yeah. fucking stressed out. It, it, this looks bad. Yeah. Especially, dude, you reek of alcohol, man. I know. I'm slurring. I know. Yeah. Well, how much did you drink while you were sitting there, dude? Uh, a whole crap load of vodka. I don't mean to disrespect you at all. No, I'm not saying you are. Just don't get mean with me. I mean, but it's, just, it's just I'm amped up right now. Yeah, yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah. No. Because right now, dude, it does not look great. No, I doesn't. Yeah. I know that. <clears throat> my teeth are in my damn joints. My dude, like I got to do the investigation. Because they were saying, dude, we got witnesses already saying that you were hitting the guardrails and stuff back there. Oh, saying that's what they're saying right now. So... We got all these witnesses. There wasn't only anybody even behind me. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. <sighs> I 
What would you do? Right now, probably, dude, to be honest. So we got all these people. I drank the alcohol after I cracked. Well, I know, but we got witnesses saying otherwise. I mean. What witnesses? We got I didn't witnesses. see anybody. Okay, well, maybe not. But they have, we have enough witnesses to say otherwise. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. And maybe it would be different. Why would I have been just rubbing the. Are you on any medication or anything like that? Uh, at nighttime, I'm on. Were you drinking at the lake at all last night or anything? Uh, uh, last night I drank at the uh, cabins. Do you have anyone that can uh, come sit with her or something, like girlfriend or like wife or her mom or anything? No, I've just got destroyed. Isn't. Although I already have my life this way. Jesus Christ, I'm like right there. You me call her? I think that would be best, man. Are you going to arrest me or not? I'll have to do some tests and stuff, Kurt. It'd be different if you called me beforehand before you wrecked. Well, here's the thing. I drank after I, dr uh, after I crashed. Okay. I'll still have to ask all the witnesses and everyone who came here. Where's the vodka bottle that you're drinking? Is it up there? Vodka. But you said you chugged vodka after the crash. Yeah. I don't know. I'm on the side of the road. I'm not trying to pick on you, man. I got no, you're not. Today's my Friday. I don't want to do this. No, you're not. Come on. I'll offer my life is week. over. I wouldn't say that, dude. It is. Are you going to perform some tests for me or no? Tell me what to do. What? Tell me what to do. Dude, I'm I'm bound, man. Like, I, mean, I know you're bound. As a, yeah, like, dude. We as have, a brother, I mean. Dude, it's like, as far as, like, me, dude, we have, like, six cameras on, video, GPS, two GPSs. I know we'll be recorded right now. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I'm, all these guys are here. Like, I, 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 I'm, like, I, I can't give you legal. I'll, I'll do the test. You will? Okay. I'll have to get on flat ground. I want to give you the best chance you can do, dude. I mean, I'll have to get on flat ground. HGN's going to be a old. Yeah. Why? Is something wrong with your eyes or what? Probably. Okay. Well, well I'm going to get on flat ground, and then we'll get a we'll get a witness there, and then we'll give you a fair shake. And I'll get on as fat, flat, ugh, flat as possible, okay? All right. And then we'll just hang tight, and we'll see if we can... You need to call her mom now? Uh, yeah. Probably come pick her up. What's her name in there, Bird? All right. Well, you know, he just flat out lying. I mean, when he brought up the vodka bottle, he had to think about it for a minute. He told a lie about that, uh, drinking after the crash. But the trooper is definitely giving some concessions. If this was you or I sitting there, we wouldn't be having this kind of dialogue. And, and I get it. I mean, these guys have worked together for years. They've both probably uh, known each other a long time. And uh, it is good old boy country. And I get it. I get some of the concessions. But you know, when he brought up, you know, seven cameras and two GPS and all that, he made it sound like, well, if they weren't there, I might be able to do something for you. And that's troublesome. Now, maybe it was just to get him to understand that everything was going to be by the book. But if there was an alternative, if they weren't on seven cameras and all that, would he make some concessions? Chief, we'll be nothing. Okay. Like, oh, maybe ace these tests, dude. Kill them. Okay, you do good on them, dude. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna make stuff up. Really? I don't want to. I want to rest, dude. Today's my Friday. I don't want to do all this paperwork. Here's a mom number.
Do you want any of those people call her that actually know her or not? Let's matter? do the test. Okay. We can do the test first. I gotta find. Well, first, we, dude, this uphill is gonna jack with you. You gotta well, get flat. We came back down. Yeah. They're all with her. They all know her. All right. Well, we're gonna back up and get on flat ground. Right. Does that work for you? Yeah, right, I got these. Probably gonna still do what I need to do. Okay. I could do it on that dirt road that they're blocking off. That way we're not in the way. Oh, you're good. We're not getting out yet. Hey, Cindy, will you move your truck so I can get on this dirt road? Matt. What's up, buddy? I'm not. I'm not we, we literally woke up. And then we wanted to go get stuff to go back to the cabins. Right there on Whisper. Dude, I'm not arguing with I'm not saying that. I mean, that's no, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, like, we woke up. Yeah. yeah and I was like, so you're going to get fucking plowed before you can go get your gear? We, we realized we were going to stay another day. Uh-huh. So I was like, okay. We're going to just hang out together. Spend time with my daughter. That's all I got left. I lost Detective Sergeant. I lost $20,000 in pay. <laughs> Shit. A whole bunch of hits, man. A whole bunch of hits. Well, dude, maybe hopefully crush this, dude, so we can both go home. I get off at five and I start my days off. I well, HGN is not a crush. Well, well I'm just saying. <laughs> All righty then. So they're going to get out and do uh, field sobriety. And um, I've already read the um, news article on this. So I know the end result. There's not a whole lot left on this video. Um, there's a lot of dead air time. Like right now it's dead air time. The, the um, cab of the trooper's vehicle is actually empty and they're out doing the field sobriety. But I wanted to point out that, that um, I think as time goes on, uh, Kurt, starts to understand that he can't uh, he's not going to be able to tell any stories I mean the stories are they're just not going to add up he kept saying well we just woke up and I you know I drank after the crash and all it just it just isn't going to fly um, uh, like I said a little concerning that uh, possibly something might have been handled differently if there wasn't cameras and, and everything on this um and I also wanted to point out he is sitting in the front seat, uncuffed, which I get it. He's a police chief. So, you know, he's got him a DUI going. But, you know, these are things that <clears throat> probably wouldn't be afforded to you and I. Um, I could continue to be the nicest, most pleasant person in the world and agree with the officer on everything that, you know, I totally screwed up and... You know, and I don't think I'd be sitting in the front seat uncuffed. Maybe front seat, but not uncuffed. And I get it. Um, it's uh, it's not that big a deal, really, but it does show that, um, you know, there's a little bit of privilege, I guess, that comes to the brotherhood, uh, which was one of my issues with law enforcement. Um, anyway, all right, I'm going to do a big jump here because they're out for quite a while and then we'll pick up a little bit more dialogue and then we'll finish this up Requesting your request to submit the test or test to determine the presence or concentration of toxicants in your body. The test will be a breath, breath test. If a blood test is performed, it will be done by approved medical personnel under Oklahoma law. Once you complete the state's test, you may have additional tests at your own expense. You are not entitled to consult with an attorney prior to making your decision to submit to the state's test. You may refuse the state's test, but as a consequence, your driving privileges will be revoked or denied. If you are 21 years of age or older and the test result is 0.08 or more blood alcohol concentration, your driving privileges will be revoked or denied. If you are under the age of 21 and the test result is 0.02, uh, or more alcohol concentration, your driving privileges will be revoked or denied. Will you take the sex test? That's up to you, man. I mean, but if you don't take it, you're, you're going to be suspended. So it's either going to be 
blow and you can blow under and it's a lesser of charger. It's up to you, man. Let's go blow. Okay. All right, I'm gonna call for a wrecker and stuff. Let's let's go ahead and have a seat, man. Right, let's let's walk around. Behind you, yeah, so we're, we're not. Yeah. I want to see the model. I'm not just telling you. We can't, we can't wait that long. Delta 400 Durant. Delta 400, go ahead. Delta 400 Durant. I'm going to be uh, 1015, signal 88. Will you assign me a time and crash number and then call the next record up, please? Delta 400, what? I can't. I mean, that means it's against the water. I'm gonna buckle you up, Kurt. You want the air? I got it. Okay. You want the air or anything? Are you hot, cold, or anything like that? I want y'all to just be cool about this. Dude, I'm trying. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Kurt, what's going on? 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 In route to LCDC for the state's test. The tribal police is going to stand by on the crash for the record to come pick it up. I blow under what I blow under what's clear. Yeah, starting mileage. Four grand starting mileage is going to be four eight seven one. I say again, four eight seven one. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I blow under what? Four hundred what's clear. Uh, well, I won't charge the DUI if you blow under. Get really fast. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I'll tell you what, Kurt. If you blow under, dude, I'll just I'll have to I'll cite you for PI. And then cut. I'll just take you home. I lost my job though, too. And my whole ah! life. Do you know what started all this? The divorce, probably. Maybe I'm not sure, dude. Let me let me talk to Seven Star real quick, and then I'll uh, have all ears, bro. I don't. I'm not trying to be rude. No, I know. I know. Hey, Seven Star. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't You're mean fine. to be rude. You're fine. This is not something I'm... I know you don't want to do it. I really just want to have a quiet Sunday, man. Man, I'm sorry. I'm it's all right. That. It's all right, man. It's just part of it. What started it is... I started ranking up. At Poto PD? Started looking all jealous all the time. Like, why are you jealous? It's, where are we supposed to be? Is she being weird about you getting promoted and stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She, uh. Well, dude, maybe, maybe it might be a blessing. No, stuff, it ain't. Man, I went through this year ago. A dark cloud rolled in over me. Yeah. And now I. And then I just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna live. I'm all ears. I wish I had like, something to make it better. She's, uh.
Yeah. In my truck is the key to that cabin. Like the red tag one? Yeah, well, I don't remember what color it was. Okay. But it's a key to a cabin. Give that to Samantha. Uh-huh. And let them take everything out of there. Okay, I can do that. You don't have your phone on right now, Cord, do you, Kurt? No, why? Okay, I'll just make sure I don't want it to get towed and you're going here. I need, the chief's phone is in there, too. The chief's phone's in there, too? Yeah, it needs to be handed off to Andy. Okay, I can do that. I guarantee I ain't chief after this. No, it ain't over, Kurt, it ain't over. I know it ain't over, but it's going to be a disaster in the meantime. All right, Bubba. All right, just get that cheese phone and, and let Lindy tell you everything that needs to come out of there. Mm-hmm. So when her mom come, shows up, just let, get everything out of it. All right, I'll do that. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, I'm done. Can I go? Call bail bond now? Uh, I mean, you can. You can try. I, mean, yeah. I know one. If you want to, yeah. I'll have to fill out my PC. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I mean, I'm still. But I mean, the sooner I'm out, the sooner I'm out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because it's going to be embarrassing. Embarrassing. Uh, Do you have to mention cop on? Well, no, I don't have to say. I mean, I'm just going to say your name and stuff. I'm not going to say. Well, that'll be good enough. But, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I have to put list your legal name on there. I knew I'd have to hit rock bottom before God get me back. But, uh, I mean, it's not like we're going to freaking publicize it. I'm not going to call I, it. I am going to blow. Well, okay, that's fine. I mean, I, it's your choice. Because I, I, I process that all pretty quick. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think I'm going to get there. I'm not yeah, let me try to piece a little of this together for you as best as I can uh, process it. He was a uh, policeman in Poto, a little bit larger. I don't know how big Poto is, but it's bigger than Worcester. And uh, apparently, you know, took a, a position here at Worcester and was promoted to chief of police. But it, it sounds to me like when he was at Poto, um, he started having some marital issues and, and, and alcohol became um, part of his diet. Uh, we'll put it that way. And maybe had some drinking problems about a year ago. <clears throat> uh, just picking up on what I could, a lot of it was redacted um, and what I read in the articles and so on and so forth. And... Uh, He'd been kind of struggling with, with the drinking a little bit. And uh, he made mention he knew he was going to have to hit rock bottom until, you know, I think he said, I knew I'd have to hit rock bottom before God would take over again or whatever. And um, so that's kind of where it's at. Um, and, and I'll give a complete uh disposition here in a few minutes there most of this is just riding along in the car and listening to what he has to say so i'm gonna cut it off here pretty quick but we'll get back to it and then i'll uh, give you a finalization on it Stupid. matter of fact i wouldn't even, I didn't think i was even anywhere around me what we was going to do is, is to get like butter or anything mm-hmm. we live on the back side right there yeah, yeah we're staying on the cabinets on the other side Across two damn, I'm home. Yeah. Do you mind me calling? I don't care. I mean, you're not telling me to come up to the jail right now. Just no, I'm just telling you I'm on my way. Oh, yeah, you're fine. This is a really bizarre call. He is looking for, he has a bail bond number in his phone. Somebody that used to be a policeman, but he can't remember the guy's name. And it's a really, really bizarre call on the other side. They just don't quite know what's going on. And he doesn't want to identify himself um, as to who he is. So, yeah, it's just really bizarre. I, I left it in here on purpose just because you can see that the alcohol is starting. He's starting to level off a little bit, but he's still really intoxicated. Um, anyway, I just wanted to point it out to listen to this bizarre telephone conversation. Give me a heads up. But the, I mean, usually I think the judge reads. Come it. on. Hey, is uh, uh Daryl Dar- Dar- in there? Do what? Is is there in there? Who? Daryl. No, we don't have anybody by that name here. Well, I'm trying to remember his name. 
something. Like to Brown? Br Brown. Okay, do you know what he looks like? Or yeah, he was a cop. He was a cop. We don't have anybody that's a cop that works for us. He used to be a cop. No. Can I get bailed out? Do what? Can I get bailed out? I can barely hear you. Can I get bailed out? Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you now. Now, what did you say? Can I get bailed out? Can you get bailed out? Yes. Bailed out of where? What am I do what? Do what now? Where are you trying to get bailed out at? The LaFour County Sheriff's uh, Detention Center. Okay. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, we stop at an ATM? No, we're, we can't do that, dude. We're going. Oh, we're going 10%. Straight. Yeah, but we don't even have the bail come out yet. The judge has to read the PC. Come on. Hey. Hello. Who am I talking to? This is Ricky. Who is this? Ricky, this is Kurt Morrison. How you doing? I am on my way out to jail right now. Can you bail? Can you bail me out? Uh, DUI. Anything else? Well, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to see. Uh, so far it's DUI. Yeah, okay, where are you turning yourself in at? I'm not turning myself in. I'm being dropped in, driven to the Fort County, the Fort County Detention Center. Okay, we don't bomb. It looks like we bombed and then leave filling the Ritter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hello. Where are you at? I'm on my way to jail. Okay, what? Sure. As fast as possible. Hey, as you know, uh, you're probably going to be on call tomorrow, too. Oh. I've been arrested. What? I've been arrested. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. Oh, wait, am I talking to John? Hey, I'll talk to you yeah. later, John. I gotta talk to him. Okay. I know you were out there on the scene. Uh huh. Uh, you know I'm probably not gonna be on it. It's fine. It's not fine. As a matter of fact, I'll probably fire. What's that? What happened? Hurt. Oh, but went around that corner too quick. Yeah. I, we were camping just a half mile down the road. Yeah, I knew. I knew when you called me this morning. You said y'all got a cabin. Yeah. We got a cabin yesterday. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, you're probably the chief now, so. Yeah. Just let me know what, what goes on, brother. Well, that's soon to be seen. Okay. I don't know. I won't probably be able to communicate with you for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, when you can, give me a call. All right. Let mm. me know how you do it, Kurt. All right. Mm. Bye. Bye. I want you to keep a couple things in mind. He continues to ignore the fact or admit the fact that he's intoxicated. 
Oh, I went around that corner a little too fast. No, you, you were intoxicated. I mean, you shouldn't have been behind the wheel of a vehicle. Of all people, you shouldn't have been behind the wheel of a vehicle. And keep in mind, his 10-year-old daughter was in the back seat. That's what really gets me. 10-year-old daughter in the back seat. And you, you witnessed just how intoxicated he, he was. He still is. And he's mellowed out probably a good 30% from what he was when he first got in the patrol car. So, yeah. Um, got no, no sympathy, empathy, nothing for this guy. Not a bit. Um, I'll put the uh, I'll post the charges up there. Yeah, this is getting up to about 45, 50 minute video, and I am going to cut a bunch more out. I cut a lot out. It, I'll trim it down to make it reasonable. It's really hard to watch um, the entire thing because there's just so much dead time. And I'm going to speed up some of the um, some of the tracks a little bit, and I will post uh, the disposition as it is to date what I could find on it to date I'm sure there's a there's probably more I'm sure there'll be a, uh, some court hearings and stuff uh, we're only a couple weeks since this happened so alright just wanted to point out don't get feeling sorry for this uh, POS because that's exactly what he is for doing what he did uh, I hope he gets the help he needs and I hope that um, that maybe at some point in time he can go back into law enforcement because he was probably, well, everything I saw in different articles and stuff, he was a pretty good cop at Poto and stuff. But, but you know, when alcohol gets a grip on you. It's a, it's a, it's a fierce demon. It really is. Um, all right, let's get back and finish this thing up, and then we'll put uh, I'll post some of the uh, uh, information that I found. Delta six forty three, direct. Six forty three, left. Delta, we're gonna be at the top of the engine. I'll be ten. No four hundred ten. I'll be out with. Correction, I'll be out at 1,005 County Avenue. He's now on a home interview and after step background. Foreign County, we have uh, LCDC open up to Sally Four, please. If you're looking at break passage, I'll give you a call. Was well, clear. Yeah, it just depends on what you blow, man. Okay, here's what I found on on Kurt Morrison. So the event was on Sunday, April 28th. He was jailed Friday, May the 3rd. I guess he posted a $10,000 bond. But I want you to pay attention to this. The counts were child endangerment by driving under the influence felony and DUI alcohol. And by the way, he, he blew to a .25. So he was plenty intoxicated. Um... I think the field uh, breathalyzer was a little bit lower than that, but the final final was uh, 0 0.25, 0.25, whatever. Um, but <clears throat> this is not all the information I found on him when I got to looking into the um, uh, public documents in the uh, in Lafleur County. I also found. Um, this. Let me pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So one thing I do know, I did find also he he did divorce in uh, the spring of 2023. Um, so his 10 year old daughter, I believe, is probably in the custody of his ex wife. But he had his 10 year old daughter with him that day. So on April the 29th, which would be. The 28th was when, when those uh, uh, charges were filed. An emergency protective order was issued. That order was issued. I can't get the details on it yet. It's not uh, public information. But um, 
as you can see, it got extended to May the 8th, then extended to June 26th. They had another hearing on it uh, just recently. Uh, today, the, I'm doing this video is May the 8th. This just got posted. So it's been, um, the protective order has been extended to June the 26th. So I'm going to um, make some assumptions here that when he was at POTO, um, he was having some marital issues. Um, didn't look like, I mean, I could pull, I could pull the uh, case if I wanted to. I just don't care that much about that kind of personal stuff. But it looks like it got maybe a little hairy. And um, oh, I'm sure that the alcohol had something to do with it because he did make the comment in the patrol car that, um, you know, it kind of all started going downhill then. And then they redacted a bunch of stuff. So I you know, just have to assume a few things. But uh, anyway, so that's where that stands right now. He'll have um, he'll have some type of a final disposition on the charges at some point, probably within the next 30 days or so. I will keep an eye out on it. I find it interesting that uh, the wicked demon of alcohol got the grips on a good cop and... Uh, kind of spiraled his career and his personal life uh, downhill. And let's just hope that he can put that behind him. I think if the alcohol is shelved, everything else will come together just fine. But if he continues, you know, to have a, a, a problem with the alcohol, it, it, it'll never get better. This is what he'll be looking at. You know, he's going to be working doing common labor somewhere and, and um, burying himself in a, in a bottle somewhere. And we certainly don't want to see that, not for anybody, especially someone that had a, you know, what looks like a pretty, I don't say distinguished because I didn't look that closely, but it looks like he had a decent career as a, as a police officer. It is small town stuff. So anyway, there you go. Oh, mercy. What a story. Uh, it would be a lot to keep up on. I really do appreciate everybody uh, that stuck around for this. This is important to me. Those of you that know me know when it comes to drinking and driving and uh, the effects of alcohol, just period, uh, is not my uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a proponent of, of uh, alcohol consumption. Uh, that's fine for people to drink a little bit here and there, but uh, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I just don't. I've never seen anything good come from it, never. Here's another fine example. You take a good cop and, you know, it just, it appears to me that alcohol just uh, took over. All right. Well, let's wrap this thing up. All there is is another minute or so, a couple minutes of him in the uh, patrol car. I think he's making a phone call. I'll look at it, and I might just cut it out and go into a, a little outro to lighten up the mood here a little bit. I'm proud of Ram. I appreciate everybody for being here. Please help stimulate the algorithms. Hit that like, subscribe notification bell make a comment comments are you know important i really do appreciate it it helps the channel out a lot and it keeps me motivated to keep doing this so all right let's call it let's call it a video it's 41 minutes let's see how much i can trim off of that i'm proud to ram until the next time i'll be gone to be honest well do you lie yeah, well, I mean, it may be processed out of your system by now. I mean, like you said, if you have a high tolerance and your liver's a champ, I mean, it'll process it out. Well, that's getting really sucky anymore. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, uh. Don't run it, right?
Un tien les bois. Un tien les bois. Et on va à 6 vis. Bon, on va jouer à Non. Like you knew, buddy. I'm telling you, knew, man. Got some people to help here. He's got a big ah! a lot of money. Jesse, don't go! Jesse, no! I'm sorry, Daisy. But I'm a loner. And a loner's gotta be alone. Yeah! <laughs>